Hello my witchlets and welcome back. Sorry uh, we missed a video this week because I've been sick. As cameraman Ken pointed out I should have a backlog of two weeks worth of videos which I did and then I had a two-week flare so kind of burned through them. I don't know why I'm drinking that that's really gross. Anyway tonight I'm going to attempt to make something I've never made before. I have it sitting on my lap here. Butter chicken meatballs is what it's called. So uh, I have ground up approximately a pound of chicken. These are chicken thighs that we ground up. And gonna need pretty much everything you see here plus a whole bunch of spices. And um, this, by the way, um, is going to be a future video for something called nomato sauce. So this does not have nightshades in it. It is made with beets and carrots and onions and a whole bunch of other deliciousness. And you can use it in place of like, we can use it for like pizza sauce. If you're looking for a red sauce to use, you can use it as a pasta sauce. You can use it in the place of anything that you would be using tomato paste in, which is what I'm using it for this evening. Um, and even future still, there might be a video on how to make homemade enchilada sauce without nightshades because I did that the other day and it was amazing and I really want enchiladas again. So um, even though I'm probably going to add nightshades to mine anyway because you know me and hot sauce and I'm a sucker for it, um, but it won't be in the main recipe. It'll be something that I add to my own when I eat it. So that all being said, we're going to go ahead and get things reframed and get to uh, Get to cooking. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees. I know mine says 450, that's because my oven sucks and it's 50 degrees off. So we want 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna take our chicken and to that I'm going to add, um, Hello. yeah, eh, a bit I'm gonna add that much. And then we're going to add some uh, salt and pepper. And what you're going to do is you're going to mix this together and form meatballs. And you're going to put them on your lined baking sheet. And then when you have all of your meatballs on here, it's going to go into the oven for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. You are not looking to cook this all the way through. I took my rings off. Yes, yes. You are not looking to cook this all the way through. You are wanting to get this so that it doesn't fall apart. If you are not used to working with ground chicken, um, it's gross. It falls apart is what it does best. And fall apart is literally what it does best. Just like... Uh, just like ground turkey. Ground turkey falls apart easily, uh, but ground turkey actually has a little bit more sticking power than ground chicken. Now, I had uh, cameraman Ken grind this chicken for me because we have a bunch of chicken in the freezer and uh, we were gonna do something else with it, but you know, life happened. So um, I had him grind this for me, but you can actually just Buy yourself a pound, save yourself the trouble, buy yourself a pound of ground chicken if you're going to make this. Um, I am very much resisting the urge to grab one of my hot sauces. Um, I've been so good. So what you want to do is you want to grab a little pinch of it, about like this. Oh, this is so gross. Um, I know I say this all the time, but like this one is really gross. And you want to make... A, a meatball approximately that size and you just you know stick it on your baking sheet you do this until you're done I mean this is literally medieval cooking 101 oh hey my lights out this is uh, literally medieval cooking 101 <laughs> which is uh, add to this dish until it is enough and it yes so you just kind of have to decide what is enough for you um, and just kind of go from there. So um, there was something else that you were supposed to add until it was enough. What did I say that was? Garlic? Well, obviously you always add garlic until it is enough, but 
there was there was another ingredient. I don't remember what it was. I really should record the things that go on off camera, just you know, but in case. They, then they wouldn't be off camera. Well, they would be if you were like a Patreon subscriber. You could come and see all of the off camera things, shenanigans, because there's a lot of shenanigans that go on off camera. There's a lot of swearing that goes on off camera too. So I mean, you know, if that's your thing. I think it's the uh, top tier of Patreon that gets you uh, exclusive Patreon videos that nobody else will see because I don't need people to know that I'm very creative when it comes to swearing. Very creative. I have a very large vocabulary. I, I know how to use it. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and make up the rest of this pile of... This needs to become meatballs plural, not one. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera just so that I can get it done quickly and you're not listening to me say really stupid stuff. Okie dokie. So we've got in our pot, we've got a quarter cup of butter. You can use ghee, you can use butter, you can use vegan butter, whatever suits your fancy. Though if you're using vegan butter, probably shouldn't use chicken. I'm just saying. But anyway, um, you're gonna let this melt over medium heat. And uh, then we're gonna add our onions that we previously diced. Obviously my meatballs have come out of the oven. And uh, I'm, we're cooking rice. I think the rice is well, I don't know. I can still see bubbles. I'm paranoid. I'm going to burn the rice. All right. So we're going to start by putting our onions in here. And we're going to cook our onions until they are translucent, which should take probably about five minutes or so. And uh, I guess that means that we have five minutes to talk amongst ourselves. Discuss. Discuss. Don't get all verklept in your genetica zoink or whatever, you know. Um, but you're gonna just kind of stir these around. Like I said, you wanna get them translucent. That'll take a wee bit of time. And uh, then you're gonna add other stuff to it. Fun stuff there. So um, you wanna have prepared for yourself as I'm gonna read from wherever it is I put my stuff. So this recipe actually calls for chili powder and cayenne pepper and all these other things that could cause inflammation in uh, certain bodies. And so to avoid that, and since it's, you know, post-Columbian exchange, um, instead of using chili spices to heat this up. I'm actually going to use uh, horseradish as a substitute. Um, I found that this is what a lot of people recommend who do things like the Paleo AIP autoimmune protocol diet where they eliminate nightshades and things of that nature. Um, the enchilada recipe that I want to do for you guys, it is uh, heated by horseradish. So grab yourself some prepared horseradish. You can get it any grocery store. There's varieties of uh, heat levels to it. So, you know, you have options. Yay. And, uh, you know, pick what you want. I'm going to use, I think it's extra hot horseradish this evening because, you know, I like horseradish. Horseradish is great. I actually made horseradish once. I think I still have it in the fridge which is terrifying actually, because it's uh, fermented horseradish that I made in like 2017 and it's still fermenting. So I'm sure it's like killer. Um, I'll have to find it and see if I can use it in my uh, enchilada video. And I'll let you know how that, I'll let you know how that goes. It doesn't blow my head off. Anyway, I'm using a whisk right now because we're gonna actually have to whisk everything together in a bit. Hey, cameraman Ken, I just realized I didn't open that can. Mm -hmm. Could you, could you help me out there? Um, 
Maybe. Forgot to open my um, lady milk. I don't know where the church key is, so we'll have to use the. Thing. Just use the the thing. It's back there. And the church key, I think, is in the drawer where we keep all the knives. No, no, I have a thing. It's good. It's all good. He has a thing. I know how to use it. And he knows how to use it. That sounds like a threat, doesn't it? Anyway. Story of my life. Here you go. It is now open. Thank you. Um, okay, so these are pretty translucent at this point. So next to this, we are going to um, turn the heat down and add the rest of our ingredients. So I'm gonna turn the heat down here to medium low. So we're going to add our spices and such, including the rest of our butter. So here's another quarter cup of butter. Can I have a spoon, please? Dunkashin! Dunkashin, darling, Dunkashin. See, it's dinner and the show, which is, you know, normal fare my videos um okay there we go and uh to this then we are going to add what did i say two teaspoons of prepared horseradish actually i'm gonna add that in a minute that teaspoon will work even better one ooh, whoops it kind of works. Well. Yeah, I'm just going to use the rest of this jar. Doo -doo -doo. And that's how we measure. Um, we add some garlic. Till it's enough. And we add our spices. Which consist of a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so I need my cumin. I need a teaspoon and a half of cumin. So I'm just gonna use a half a teaspoon and count out three. Because I'm lazy. One, two, There we go. We need a teaspoon of turmeric. Just happen to have, it's a new container. Yay, I didn't even break a nail. That's impressive. Um, broke a nail earlier though, cleaning off my stove. That was fun. And by fun, I mean that really hurt. We need a teaspoon of ginger. That's a half teaspoon that I use, so I need another of these for the turmeric, and then I will actually use the correct measuring spoon for the ginger as I knock it all over my table. Oh, that won't fit. All right. Step out on faith. Step out on faith. That's about a teaspoon. And let's see what's next. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm slowly running out of cinnamon here. 18, 12 years. Yeah. And that's it for the moment. My whisk. We're going to whisk all of this together so that it gets good flavor going on. And next, I am going to add a 
I wish this were Smell-O-Vision because this smells amazing. Next, I am going to um, add the Nomado. I need a spoon. <laughs> Thank you, cameraman Ken. So the Nomado, like I said, I'm going to do a video on it, but uh, primary ingredient, carrots and beets. And the seeds are now on the floor. Sorry. Uh, let's see. What else do I need to add? Oh, right. The lemon juice. Need a tablespoon of that. Thanks, Midnight. Thanks for headbutting my tripod there. You're, yes, you are it's very the, much. It's in his space. Yeah, I know, it's in his space. And the milk. Now, the original recipe calls for a can of, wow, he really did adjust the camera angle. The original recipe calls for um, a can of coconut milk, but I do not have coconut milk on me, and this is not a recipe that I was anticipating making, so I'm using evaporated goat's milk because I have that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to whisk all of this together and uh, bring it to a slow boil and then cover it and let it simmer for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. So I will be back at that time to do the rest of this. Okay, we are back and so it is time for plating. So we have rice on our plates. We have chicken meatballs and sauce. I'm gonna get a little bit more sauce here. And uh, I still have artichoke over to the side because it's tasty. So that is the basics. I'll go ahead and try some for you. So it smells amazing. It's definitely cooked through. Very hot. It's very tasty and um, could use a little bit more horseradish, I think, just saying. But um, it's actually very good. And um, I would actually make this again, maybe on a time that I'm feeling better and I can do uh, chili peppers and such like that because um, I've got some hot sauces over here that are screaming to be a part of this. So if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. Just leave me a comment either way. Let me know what you would like to see. If you have any suggestions for foods that you would like to see me try, maybe something that's modern that you want to see done in a pre-Columbian exchange format. So no squash, no nightshades, no, um, well, nightshades are pretty much peppers and potatoes and tomatoes and such like that. Just, you know, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. And uh, if you do think that I've earned your support or whatever, do head over to Patreon and uh, show me some support over there as well. So we will make sure oh, and make sure that you've liked, subscribed, hit the bell, all that stuff. We'll see you next time.